two websites, the number one thing you have to focus on is speed. If your website loads longer than three seconds, Google says you lose 60% of your visitors. That's, a, that's, that's coming from Google. If your web page loads longer than three seconds, you lose 60% of your visitors. Well, there's user engagement 101. Your website has to load fast. From going to one page to the next page, it has to be fast, okay? So it's going to be very important that whatever website you're using loads quickly. Now, here's a, here's a page tester you can use. Let's, do, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to do Pingdom, okay? This is free, tools.pingdom.com slash FPT, or just, just go to Pingdom, and you, you'll see the speed test there. What you do is you take the, the URL, so this .com address right now, this long, ugly URL, is, is the identifying address for this page. So let's say I want to test how fast this page is. So I'm going to copy that URL, I'm going to go over to page speed, I'm going to throw it into that, and I'm going to run a test on it. Oh, and by the way, by default, it, te it pulls from like Australia. So you're going to want to, I just realized I need to retest that and pull it from, uh, let me see if I can reset it. We definitely don't want a page speed uh, test from how it looks in Australia. Although, yes, that's going to matter other countries, especially depending on where you're bringing people in from. You know, how does it, how does, it, if I've got Canadian um, buyers coming in here, I want to know how well my website performs for them as well. So there's other ways to do that. But let's just go ahead and see if it'll let us run. Yeah, these things are squirrely when I'm doing webinars. Let's try it one more time. This is the Playster site. I tested it yesterday, loaded in less than three seconds. Okay, so 4.29 seconds, and that could be that could be um, partly because of what we're doing here too, but it's pulling from there, so it shouldn't be. Um, so this one, I'll tell you what, this page might be running a little bit slower. Does anybody know? Can anybody identify one thing on this page that causes a, a website to slow down? I've been talking about this a lot in my marketing group, so I'm curious to see if, yeah, Sherry, good for you. Sherry's paying attention. Okay, so yes, um, a couple of you said pictures. Yes, pictures can slow down a website, and I'll tell you right now, that's the biggest problem with these placer sites is that slideshow. The slideshow that rolls across the top, when you guys are setting it up, any website that has slideshows, and it's telling you your, 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 your image has to be uh, 1600 by 660, I think it is. So you guys are, are uploading this high resolution, huge, massive image to get to run across that slideshow, and you're leaving it at like two megabytes um, in size, that will kill your page speed. And then you're, you're uploading five of them because it gives you the option to upload five killing your page speed. What you really want to do is you want to have that 1600 by 660 and then you want to go in and export it and resize it to about under 100 KB. Maybe under, you know, under three, under, I like mine under 100, but under a few hundred will probably work too. So if you're not resizing those images, your pages are taking forever to load, okay? Some IDXs try to download um, the entire high resolution image, therefore causing um, a page to delay. But I'm going to say probably on this page, these guys are smart enough that they've got their images um, probably downloading correctly. Um, I haven't run any tests on it. Uh, but these maps, these maps are brutal. Maps are brutal. I can't say that enough how brutal maps are to your page speed. Okay. So if you're using any kind of maps on your website, you need to do a comparison of running a page with a map and running a page without a map and look at how what it does. In my experience, Google Maps, if you just take a straight Google Map and embed it on your website, you, you're probably adding half a second to a second um, to five seconds of, of speed, of, of upload time. And like I just said, if it takes longer than three seconds to load, you've lost 60% of your consumers. So you're not going to get user engagement if they can't stay on the page, okay? So